Hi, my name is Laura. I'm the public art manager for the Maryland State Arts Council, and I'm so glad you're joining us today to learn about how we score rubrics, or I'm sorry, how we score grants using our rubric for the Public Art Across Maryland grant program. So the question is, what actually happens? You hit that submit button in Smart Simple, what happens next? So before the application deadline, we assemble a panel. We put out a call and people submit their credentials to us and we select 10 to 13 people who have public art experience, who have grant experience and who live across the state of Maryland. They're the ones that review, read and score your applications. It's important to remember that no Maryland State Arts Council staff member is the person assigning a score to your application. So, each panelist receives an anti-bias training and a rubric training, and then they receive all of the grant applications and it is their job to read every single grant and assign it a score. And I'm gonna talk about exactly how that works in a moment. Once all of the panelists submit their scores, we average out their scores, and then any grant that receives a score over a percentage threshold advances to round two. So round two, it's a virtual meeting with all the panelists and we go through every single grant application one by one. The panelists can ask questions, discuss anything that came up for them when they were reading it, and then they assign it a score again. We then average the new scores and that's how your application receives its final score. Now this meeting is public, so anyone can observe. And if your application advances to round two, you will read, um, notified and you can actually observe the panelists talking about your application. It's a great way to learn how your application has been received and perceived by the panelists. Following that meeting, the staff will um, assign and award the grants. Note, if any panel, I mean sorry, if any grant receives like a tying score and we can't award both grants, then we will award it to the applicant whose project most closely aligns with our the Maryland State Arts Council strategic goals. Okay, so we keep talking about these scores. Let's get into the nitty gritty of how that works. So the Public Art Across Maryland grant program has four different types of grants. So there's sort of like two big buckets, conservation and new artwork. And within each of these buckets, there's two types of grants, planning and project. Because every type of grant application is slightly different, we have four distinct rubrics, one for each type of grant. These rubrics are all up on our website. The URLs are down there if you wanna type them in, but if you go to our Maryland State Arts Council website under Public Art, there are links there as well. So I'm gonna talk a little bit more in depth about the new artworks project rubric, and then I'll talk about the new artworks planning rubric. For my conservation friends, um, the planning and the project rubrics are very similar to the new artwork, so the same sort of principles apply. But if you want to see in more depth, please go check out those rubrics on our website. Okay, so this is what the rubric looks like. For every question that you answer in the grant application, the question is also on the rubric. For every question that you answer, it's going to receive a score. So there's um, a scale so you can receive a low score like a fair to marginal score or an excellent to outstanding score keep in mind that the most important question on your application is that description one it's up worth up to 30 points that's more than any of the other questions and secondly like the communication question for the new artworks project grant that's worth 20 points so the between these two questions that's 50 percent of your score so super important the first two questions we're looking for clear, specific, detailed descriptions to answer the questions on the grant. That's the thing I want you to remember from this presentation. So questions three and four, the number three is talking about the um, experience of the artist and number four is the schedule. You'll notice that these are only worth up to 15 points. So they don't, um, they don't have as much weight as the previous two questions. Still important. You can still score high, they're just not as, um, just not as weighted as heavily. And then five and six, number five is about the budget and number six is about the maintenance. So again, you're seeing this like a low score is a one to five, high score um, 15, 11 to 15 or four to five, depending on the question. Okay, here's the thing. It's one thing to talk about these grants and talk about the rubrics, a whole nother thing to actually use it. So I really want you to try it and test it out. So let's pretend 
I'm on the panel, you're on the panel, and together we're gonna let's review some grants together and assign it some scores. Okay. So the first thing we're gonna do is new artworks project grant. We're on question number one, the rubrics ahead of us. We are looking to, I'm gonna show you a grant question and answer, and I want you to give it a score. Okay. So here's an example. Pause this video, give yourself one minute to read this question. Okay, so you read the question. Let's go to the rubric. What number would you give this paragraph? And I'll go ahead and pause it again if you need to, but think like, would you give it a four, like a fair to marginal? Would you give it a 10? Would you give it a 30? What number would you assign it and why? Let's do it again. Okay, this is a different grant sample. Go ahead, pause this video. Okay, so now that you've read it, what score would you assign this grant? Fair to marginal? Excellent to outstanding. Really give yourself, push yourself to assign it a specific number. Okay, let's keep going. When you actually have to push yourself to score another grant application, it really helps you write your grant better. So this is about community engagement. So, you know, a low score here is going to be minimal description. A high score is going to be clear, specific, detailed. Engagement strongly centers on the values of the community, input in the planning and implementation process. So here's another example. What you see in bold, that's the question on the grant, and then unbolded, that's the grantee's response. So pause the video, read it. Okay, what score would you give that particular grant question? Here's another example, example of community engagement. So go ahead, pause the video. Now that you've read it, what score would you give this grant? What do you think? So all of those examples I just gave you were from the new artworks project grant. Let's switch to a planning grant. So I'm gonna show you the planning grant rubric. So some, you'll see some familiar things here. The question itself is different for the planning grant. The scale is the same. We're still looking for clear, specific, detailed description. All right, so here's an example of a planning grant response. Um, go ahead, you know the deal. Pause the video, read it. Okay, so now that you've read this, what score would you give it? Fair to marginal, excellent, somewhere in the middle. So again, here are all the links to these rubrics. You can find them on our website. What I strongly encourage you to do, find a good friend who is not familiar with your project, who will read your grant application and use the rubric to give it a score. You might be surprised what you think is clear and obvious, but what someone else finds confusing or unclear. You know, keep in mind that the panelists who are going to be reviewing your grant application, they may have never even heard of the town or the organization that you're working with. They might be unfamiliar with the community, the demographics, um, the history, the relevance of your project. So you really have to make the case. Why is it important that taxpayer money public money is invested in your public project. For conservation, similar thing. Why should taxpayer funding be invested in conserving this artwork? What is the community relevance and the value of this work? You have to explain it and you have to make the case to the panel. That wraps up my deep dive into the rubric. Please reach out to our team with questions. We can do one-on-one um, -on -one meetings and we look forward to reading your grant applications. Thanks so much.